In the start of the decade of 2020, NASA unveiled their plans of journeying to the moon to build a manned space station. What they didn't say was that the moon bases they will be making may be made out of human urine. Aside from its constant comparisons to apple juice, urine contains some organic compounds that can be very useful for making concrete for lunar structures. But why though? We've created structures just fine here on Earth without urine, so why do we need it in space? It's because of two reasons. The first is that the environmental conditions on the surface of the moon is a lot harsher than the Earth's surface. The moon has some very extreme temperature fluctuations which can be scorchingly hot at 260 degrees Fahrenheit when the sun is up and down to bone chilling temperatures at minus 280 degrees Fahrenheit when the sun is down. And then there's also the occasional meteorites that are battering the moon's surface. With such extreme conditions in this unique environment, the materials we use for structures that we build on the moon will need to be able to withstand these pitfalls. The second reason is weight. Concrete, although very sturdy and strong, it is heavy, really heavy. So it'd be extremely expensive and impractical for us to fly out tons of concrete or any other kind of heavy building material 400,000 kilometers from the earth to the moon. So where does urine fit into all this? Well, human urine contains this organic compound called urea, which has been found to be a very good plasticizer, which is a substance that can be added to materials like concrete to make it more flexible before it hardens. So the big idea is to either carry bags of human urine on the mission to the moon, or have astronauts produce this urine when they get there and extract out the urea compound. And then, rather than applying it to concrete, which is too heavy to take on the trip, the urea can be mixed in with loose moon rocks to form a kind of space concrete or maybe more of a Play-Doh-like substance. This can then be put into a 3D printer to use as the building material to construct structures for the moon base. Using urine allows us to keep fuel costs low by taking advantage of using the space rocks, which are already well accustomed to the extreme conditions of the moon, to build our structures. As bizarre as this idea may seem, it is quite practical. And who knows, maybe even Tesla will do the same when they go to colonize Mars. What do you think? Would you be willing to donate your urine for colonizing other planets and moons? Let me know what you think in the comments below and like and subscribe for more.